The Anti-Homosexuality Bill 2009 was moved as a private member's bill by Indora West MP David Bahati. Last week, the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee Chairman Stephen Tashobia scheduled the report for debate before the expiry of this eighth parliament. However, today the government, in a surprise move, sought to stop debate on the bill, arguing it was not necessary because there are enough laws on the statute books to regulate homosexuality and lesbianism in the country. We had a cabinet subcommittee, uh, which gave us a report yesterday. And we did realize there are many things that are raised in the bill that are covered by the other laws that are already in place. And uh, the law which is in the offing, the sexual offenses bill, will cover most of the other issues that have not been covered. We don't have any provision on promotion of homosexuality uh, anywhere. We don't have any provision on same-sex marriage. We don't have any provision in our laws on recruitment of our children. We don't have any provision on counseling and caring. We want to make it very clear. We want Parliament to come, come up with a law that is specific and clear to address the emergent uh, problem of homosexuality. When first tabled on October 14, 2009, the Anti-Homosexuality Bill created local and international uproar, raising questions about Uganda's respect for minority rights. I'm very confident that the executive uh, knows that 95% of Ugandans do not support homosexuality. Of course we are concerned. We don't condone homosexuality in our country. That one should be very, very, very clear. It's unconstitutional. We do not condone it. And of course our children are suffering. Donors also threatened to cut aid if government did not withdraw it. The person who is spying on this bill, the institution who is spying on this bill, is Parliament of Uganda, the People's Representatives Institution. We are the people to decide on what happens. I'm saying government position is that uh, some of the provisions this be are catered for in the other laws. Their views have got to be taken to the committee of parliament and be considered. They could be accepted, they could be not accepted. The Anti-Homosexuality Bill 2009 stipulates death or life sentences for those found guilty of committing homosexuality and aggravated homosexuality among other severe penalties. Agnes Nandu to NTV Parliament.